Hey guys, we're sitting in front of a customer's house. I'm waiting on him to respond to my text message that I'm here or return my phone call. He knew I was coming. Let's make a long story short about what we're about to go do. He's got two systems, a downstairs and an upstairs. Uh, I think that's a two ton upstairs or a two and a half came out he's got uh, he's got both air handlers for downstairs and upstairs are trained gam air handlers the low end of the hyperion the gams are trash i mean the tams are the tams are a lot better than the gams but these are gams they might even be gaffs so gafs i don't know anyway i was called out last week uh early late last week for no cooling upstairs we came out and we found a bad compressor on the condensing unit it was a older it was an older train unit it wasn't 410a but but we went check inside the gaff air handler and they never took the 410a valve out so we installed a new ream condenser and on startup, we had a bad, we have a bad expansion valve. Um, the refrigerant is stacking on the liquid line, and we're getting no return on the suction. And we're raising subcooling, but no superheat is falling. Suction's not r rising. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to try this. I've had a little success with it. I'm going to try this AC Renew and see if I can get that valve to loosen up. If not, we're gonna have to change the valve. So I told y'all that both air handlers are either gams or gaffs. His downstairs condenser is, a, is an ICP, Tempstar. And I noticed while we were here installing the other condenser that that Tempstar was shutting off really aggressively. Like when it shuts down, that compressor makes a lot of noise. So that's making me think that we could have a bad valve on that one also, and or an overcharge. So we're gonna check that too while we're here. I was just, I was gonna buy two of these just in case, but they only had one damn can in town. I called every supply house and they had one can. So, we're gonna go put it in iron system because the downstairs system, he said, cools great. But he said, our new, our new condenser, it freezes up every now and then and that's coming from that valve not working correctly. So let's go inject this stuff. All right guys, so what you're gonna need to do this is your manifold set of choice, your, of course your AC Renew, and you're gonna need some kind of injection tool like this. This, this is my preferred one. Uh, I've only used it a couple times. That's why it's still shiny and brand new. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour the AC Renew in here. All right, so I got it open. I'm pouring the whole bottle in there. I'm putting the whole bottle in this machine. It will not hurt it. This is actually good stuff. I mean, it, 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 a lot of times it works. So look, we're just, we're gonna pour the whole thing in there. Yeah, and it, it, it filled up this uh, injector. So that's four ounces. And we're gonna put this on. And then I'm going to hook make sure my pressures are zeroed out I'm going to hook my suction line up to this to the to the cap I just screwed back on I have a ball valve here and I have it off right now because I'm not ready to inject. And I'm hooking this up to the suction valve. All 
Okay. You can see I've got the injector hooked up to the suction valve. We're gonna put our pipe clamp on so we can monitor our superheat. Okay, that's because we don't have any suction pressure right now. Okay, I don't know if y'all heard that, but that thing just shut off really aggressive. But anyway, we'll get back to that. And we're gonna put our head pressure on. Gonna put our pipe clamp on so we can monitor our subcooling. Now, see, we got good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut this off on my hose, and we're gonna open up the in the injector, and we're just gonna let it, it and it's gonna suck in all that uh, AC renew, and then. I, but I'm also going to open the high side. And, and let the high side help push it through and just let it continue to circulate. So let's open the suction on this injector. There it is. I heard it. We're gonna open the suction here and open that. And we're just, we're just letting it feed through is all we're doing. We're letting it feed. We're letting, we're just feeding through right now. So, we're not hurting anything. All the AC renew, all the AC renew is probably already in the system. So I'm gonna shut it off. Okay. So now I'm gonna shut the injector off again. I'm also going to shut this off because I want to pull the injector off and make sure it took all of the AC renew. So let's open this up and make sure that we got it all in there. And man, that inject that injector cap. Oh, let me let the pressure off of it. That might help. <laughs> all right. So let's take a look in here. Oh yeah, it's all gone. So it took it. So we have the AC Renew in. It's been in maybe five minutes. I took the cover off of the unit. This is a two-ton machine. I believe it's a two-ton. Yeah, it's a two-ton machine. And it's calling for an 11 degree subcooling unless it's 55 degrees outside. If it's 55 degrees outside, they want a 15. It's not 55 degrees. So anything above 55 degrees, they want an 11 degree subcooling on this system. So let's come to the gauges. We have the subcooling, but we don't have the suction or the superheat. And this is why we're freezing, because we're below freezing. And that's where I'm hoping that this re renew is going to, we're going to start seeing a difference. I'm going to sit here with it for 30 minutes because that's, a, that's about all the time I got and I got to go catch more calls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to sit here with it for 30 minutes and see if there's any kind of improvement. And then this guy lives about 10 minutes from my house. I don't even know if it's that far. And then this afternoon on my way home, I'm going to stop and check it again. If I don't see an improvement by later this afternoon, we're going to order an expansion valve and change it. All right, we're about 20 minutes in on the AC Renew and we've seen absolutely no improvement. The pressures are staying identical. Um, I may try, I, I, I'm not going to do it right now, but this afternoon, I, I, I mean, I know you got to give that stuff time to work but we've seen absolutely no improvement. As far as the temp star shutting down aggressively, I have the hub six. I don't know if y'all can see that over there. Oops. Yeah, there's the UEI hub six, my probes. 
I'm waiting on the unit to kick back on so I can watch the pressures on that and watch the pressures on this. I really need to get me a second set of these. Um, but I don't mind using the probes when I got to monitor two systems like this. So, But I'm not feeling very good about... Uh, okay, the temp star just kicked back on. I'm not feeling really good about the uh, AC Renew on this job. Again, I'm not, I, I like this product. Um, I know Train makes one also. And I, I mean, I've had good luck with this one. Sometimes I don't. But after 20 minutes, we've absolutely seen no improvement. So I'm sticking here for another 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna stick with it for another 10 to 15 minutes and then watch the temp star on my phone. And then I'm gonna have to move on and come back this afternoon and recheck this. Hey guys, so look, I wanted to put an ending to this video um, because I, it was kind of inconclusive. The uh, AC Renew made no, no difference whatsoever. Um, I know Train makes a sedative, but, and I would have went and tried the Train sedative, but we're gonna change the valve. But we had a really hard time finding the valve. I called the local train store here, which is my competitor, but they're a, they're a contractor and a distributor. They didn't have one in the company, and the close and the factory didn't even have one. So they called the factory, and by the time they could have got me one, it would have been well into June. Well, I mean, this man's done paid me for a new condenser. I can't make him wait that long. So. I called the American Standard Store. They didn't have one in the company. So, some of you may have uh, places called Train Supply. We don't have one here, but we have one about an hour and a half away in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So I called up Train Supply, and they had one in Tampa Bay, Florida. I told them, don't pass go, nothing. It's sold get it to me ASAP. So we finally found him a valve. It's supposed to be here sometime Friday afternoon. And then we're, and hopefully Monday morning, we can go put that valve on and get him, get that unit cooling right. Hell, if I, if I wouldn't have been ever to find, find a valve, I was gonna pull that damn expansion valve out and put a piston in that damn thing. And I know probably a lot of you there's a lot when I I've, I've got several videos like that and boy you guys love when you guys get butt hurt oh you just ruined the efficiency of that unit bruh it's a mismatch system anyway I mean and I'm sorry guys but if you think a TXV is getting you that much more of a sear rating you are very sorry very very mistaken a TXV I know it's got, you gotta have it on, you know, certain stuff to get your sear rating, but if you really think you're getting that much more out of a TXV, you know, especially on just a plain 14 sear mismatch system, you really need to reevaluate how you think this trade. But anyway, uh, and I told the customer that, I said, look, if we can't find a valve, I'll take that damn valve out, I'll put a piston in that damn thing, we'll get it going. But since we were able to find a valve, gonna put it back together like I've said before in other videos we'll put the unit back like I found it I will change the expansion valve so just wanted to let you guys know about that and I hope y'all enjoyed the video um, I, I welcome criticism if you would have done anything different or if you think I did something wrong but if you're going to use foul language and stuff to do it I'm gonna delete your comment I don't have the comments set up to be approved but I do see every comment. I get a notification every time I get a comment on a video. And if you're gonna use foul language and be ugly and you know just be uh, uh, immature about it, basically, you know that's what it all comes down to is being very immature. Then I'm just gonna delete your comment. I'm not gonna respond to you. And you know I have no problem with construct with construct con constructive criticism, but not with not if you're just gonna be a uh, you know a dickhead pardon my french i'm trying not to cuss on youtube so much lately because they don't they frown upon that now so if you can't 
reframe from using foul language or, you know, uh, just being a, uh, a dick, uh, then just don't comment. Move on. But anyway, see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching.